Good morning everyone. So it's currently 8 a.m. and today I'm gonna take you thrift shopping with me. I am shopping for bundles. As some of you probably know, I have a styling company. Well, it's pretty much just me. Um, it's called Across the Universe Styling and I sell custom 60s and 70s style bundles. So today I am on the lookout for some incredible pieces for some people to style. I'm also maybe looking for myself a little bit. I don't really go out shopping for myself anymore, but because I'm in a thrift store that often, I will come across pieces that I really like. So we'll see what I can find today. I'm planning on visiting three thrift stores today um, in different areas of the city. Some of them are a bit more put together than others are, but I'm really there for all the digging. As said, it's currently 8 a.m. So I have plenty of time today. So I've just written down all of the information from people for the bundle. And now I'm just finishing my cup of coffee. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today in a second and then I'm gonna go and take you along to some incredible stores and I hope you'll find some amazing treasures. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's this incredible little printed psychedelic mini dress that I actually shortened. I'm wearing these really cool flower earrings that I got from Voli Blues and that I love a lot. I created this headband with the access fabric of the dress. As you guys know, I love my dresses to be on the really, really short side. These are the shoes that I'm wearing, just some really classic white little heels. I like them a lot. I think they go really, really well with the look. Um, yeah. It's pretty warm outside, which is really surprising because it was fall already here. Like we already had a bunch of days where it was raining and really cold, but summer's back, I guess. So yeah, I'm really happy about wearing a summer dress again. So these are the two most important things that I'm bringing. This little notebook where I write down everyone and their styles and sizes and everything. This makes me so proud actually to look at it and see all of the people that I've styled already. And then my measuring tape, this one's really cool because it both has centimeters and inches. In Germany we measure everything with centimeters, but a lot of you guys and most people that actually order are from the US, so it's great to always have the inches on hand as well. So I just arrived and I'm about to go into the first store. So this store I definitely took you to before, but they always have incredible pieces. So let's go in there. I know I'm here for the clothes, but my tea kettle actually started rusting inside and I think that's not healthy and that's not good for me. So I'm definitely on the lookout for a replacement of some sort. But from what I can tell, they don't really have them here. I mean, this is really, really cool, but it's not a tea kettle. So we'll look at this one down there. So they have a lot of really nice ones, but none of them are made for being put on the stove directly, which is what I do also for like my coffee. So I made it to the far back of the store where the dresses are and there's this one which looks really nice for like a mod bundle but it's not vintage and you can find these dresses, vintage pieces, so I'm kind of more on the lookout for those. So this dress actually is kind of cool, it has these little mirror details. But I'm not styling any bundle right now where I think this could work with. With pieces like this one, I'm always a bit torn because this one looks really nice. It's not vintage, it's H&M. And I don't want to support H&M like they're one of the worst companies out there. However, if you want to buy H&M, make sure that it's second-handed. Um, yeah, but I think I'll pass on this one. This leather vest is so heavy, but it's also too big for the one that I'm looking for today. Same goes with this one, even though the embroidery is really beautiful. This is like a man size 50, which is just a really big size. I'm currently not styling anyone with this size. This skirt is actually kind of cute for like an underskirt. I think I'll have to hold on to this one. So this one unfortunately is also too big for like the bundles that I'm doing right now, but look at the collar. This is so cool. I've definitely seen this dress hanging here five or six times now. It's just a size that I don't style a lot, but I love it. It's terry cloth and it's so soft. Look at this cool 80s dress with like the peplum kind of cut and then it has a cutout in the bag and it even comes with a bow. So I came to like a quieter part of the store to show you the things I've picked up so far. First of all, there's this really dreamy nightgown, which I love. However, I'm not styling anyone this size right now and it's not my size. And I also already have a ton of them, but I love the neckline. It's so dreamy. I found these incredible suede pens. I'll just have to measure them to make sure that they fit, but they look so cool. And they're perfect for one of the bundles I'm working on right now. 
I showed you this little skirt before. It's so cute. It's an underskirt. The detailing on the layers is so dreamy. This is a really cool find. Um, it's a suede jacket and it actually has shoulder pads, which the person that I'm thinking about giving this to asked for shoulder pads. So I'll have to take the measurements on this one, but I'm pretty sold on it already. Okay, so I kind of only picked this up to show you guys because it doesn't really work with any of the bundles I'm working on right now, but it's a dark blue suede coat. It's just way too big on me. It's also super long, but it's so cool. It has a belt. Dang it, someone has to come and get this one because it's such a cool piece. I found this incredible black dress with the dreamiest sleeves. Like, as you can see, the sleeves have like this mixture of mesh and velvet, and the whole dress is velvet. This is so cool, perfect for like a Stevie Nicks look. Definitely gonna get this one. This is so random, but it's a really cute little apron. I don't really know, I don't need an apron, but look at the cool fabric, I love the pattern. I actually got really lucky with blouses today, I found this really cool mesh kind of suede embedded one. I also really love the buttons on this one. I found this really cool one, which is almost a dress. This is really cool for like a hippie look. It also reminds me a lot of Janis Joplin. She used to wear a lot of church dresses kind of like this. And then I also found this dreamy one, which I really like. It also has a really cool neckline. It's very unique. I'm styling a mod bundle and I found this incredible skirt with like a really cool zipper in the front. This is a great find. I also found this gorgeous vintage skirt, which I'll definitely have to try on, but it looks like it could fit me, so let's see about this one. And last but not least, I found another really cute little skirt, which I'll have to try on, but this one I'll probably take with me because this one would also work great with like a lot of bundles. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the dressing room right now, try some things on, take some measurements, and then I'll talk to you later. So it got really crowded in there all of a sudden, and I got kind of awkward, so I just paid for my things and left. I also checked out their record section and they got some incredible records. I'm gonna show you as soon as I get home. So today I parked for the first time like down the street and not right in front of the store because the parking was already full. And it seems like there's another store right down the street. So let's check out that one. Look at this incredible set. It's a jacket and a dress. I have to try this on. It's so dreamy. Okay, so it is a cool store, but it's also kind of weird. I would like to bring your attention to the fact that this is the dressing room. Like, um, I'm sorry. It is scary as fuck in here. I mean, I guess they're repurposing this, but like, it's scary as fuck in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a hole in the front, like up there, there's just a hole up there. And then you can't close the door. So I'll just try to move away from the door, I guess. Honestly, that store was so, so scary. Like it was great, they had a lot of incredible things, but it was freaking scary in there. I'm back in the car now and this was actually a weird experience. Like the people in there were really nice. The stuff in there was pretty nice. The place was so weird. They even like had the back side open and you could shop like everything that they had in the storage part of the store and then I went back there and I found a really cool dress that immediately reminded me of a bundle that I was going for. So I was like okay this is perfect I'm gonna get this dress and then I took a closer look and that was mold on the zipper. Like that is disgusting. Don't worry, if you order a bundle from me, I take everything home, I sanitize it, I wash it. So all of the things are clean, but usually when I go into a thrift store, the stuff is already pretty clean. So I take it home and then I rewash it, of course, and sanitize it, but usually stuff doesn't have mold on it. So that was kind of scary. Thrift store number three, here we go. So five minutes in and I got distracted because they have rollerblades in my size. However, they're 30 bucks and that's a lot of money for me right now. So a friend of mine actually told me that she just started roller skating and that it's a lot of fun and I would love to try it, but 30 bucks is also a lot of money. I'm not too sure right now. Ah! But these are from the 70s and they're so cool. Imagine I wouldn't be wearing this dress right now because the colors kind of clash, but these are so cool. <sighs> Damn. 
but I think I can't justify it, honestly. I can't spend so much money on myself right now. They also have these Swedish Hasbrins in my size. Oh, they're so cool, but I can't justify it. They're 35 euros. I can't, but I'd love to. I honestly can't deal with myself today. Five minutes ago, I talked about how I can't afford those 35 bucks shoes. Look at this. I just found the most perfect coat. It's perfectly my size. It's such a dream. It's an original piece from the late 60s. <sighs> That's why I don't like this third set because it's a lot more expensive than the other ones. This one is 45 euros, which I feel like is not a lot for a coat like this. But then also I just said I want to spend that kind of money today. This is such a hard decision right now. I don't think I can leave this one here because I love it so much and because I feel like I already said no to those shoes and also it's 45 euros I feel like people think I spend a lot more money on my clothes than I actually do I don't usually spend that kind of money on myself but maybe I have to maybe this is my I'm doing good with the bundles right now piece so I feel like I made up my mind. I'm not gonna get any of the shoes, but I'm gonna get this coat. It's a present for me because I've been working a lot lately and I made some money, so I guess it's okay. But like, this is the first purchase I made for myself that's like more than two or five euros in over a year, I think. It's scary. I did it. I got the jacket. There was Bob Dylan playing in there. <sighs> I couldn't resist. This makes me so happy right now. I'm not a materialistic person, but I usually don't spend that kind of money on myself. So this is really special for me. I'm back in the car now and I quickly want to talk about money because I feel like people expect me to spend a lot of money on my wardrobe, which I truly don't. I am not rich by any means i don't live with my parents anymore i got my bills to pay and it's not like i can just afford all of these clothes all the time so usually the clothes that i have are really inexpensive like less than five euros a piece because i really do like a lot of digging and searching for incredible pieces and so spending that kind of money on myself is scary but i'm like i've sold 30 bundles so far and i haven't really treated myself and so this is kind of my treat and it's really special um yeah i just quickly wanted to talk about this because i feel like in the vintage community a lot of people especially like the people who are more in for the trend which there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like there are people who dress like this because they love the time and because they are genuine about the way that they want to dress and then there are people who kind of do it because it's trendy right now and they buy like those replica clothes which there's nothing wrong with it but i'm just saying that i feel like the vintage community has become a lot about spending tons of money and who has the coolest stuff and for me it's absolutely not like that at all like this dress for example five bucks i tailored it to fit me um so spending that kind of money on a coat is not typical for me but i'm really happy that i did um yeah i just quickly wanted to talk about this because buying something like this is a big thing for me i just arrived at the fourth thrift store today this is a pretty big one so i'm planning for this to be the last stop today um, yeah, it's a really cool thrift store. I don't think I ever took you with me there, so this is going to be interesting. So this store is pretty crowded, so I came to the dressing room to show you what I picked out so far. I found these really cute shoes, which are definitely going in one of the bundles. And then this really cool top. It kind of has a ruffled neckline. And I feel like this would be great for a Stevie Nicks bundle, which a lot of you actually want Stevie Nicks bundles. So this will work out pretty well, I think. This really cool skirt, which I have to take the measurements off. This really cute little bag, which is perfect for one of the bundles I'm currently working on. Okay, so this was kind of successful. I got some things, but I'm still looking for other things. So my plan now is because I have to get the car back to my dad's today because it's his car. I don't have a car. I'm going to go there and right across the street from where he lives, there's another thrift store. So I'm going to go to one more store, take you guys along, and then I'm going to go back home.
So my anxiety kicked in and now I'm in the dressing room kind of hiding from everyone listening to some music to center myself But I already found some incredible pieces which I'm gonna show you now But I already found some really cool pieces It is really crowded and like weird outside so I wasn't really comfortable to talk outside But I can show you some pieces now that we're in here Also these marks are from my glasses because I have to wear glasses whenever I drive a car I found this incredible bag, like look at this, it is velvet and then it has all of these detailing and even like little tassels, this is an incredible find. I got this really cool embroidered kind of jacket dress thing and this really cute little 60s dress which is just perfect for one of the bundles I'm currently working on. I can't really tell the color but it's a beautiful dark green and it's this really cool jacket. I also found this jacket, which is such a dream. Just look at the buttons. This is such a dreamy, cool find. I found this incredible psychedelic skirt. People always ask me for psychedelic bundles, so this one is coming home for sure. And last but not least, I found this incredible skirt, which is kind of striped. And this one even still has its original tag. Let me go look at this. So cool. I'm shaking, but it's anxiety. Um, this was 250 euros, 215 euros, then 125, and now it's five bucks. That's why you thrift, boys and girls. Okay, so I just left that store. I had a bit of anxiety, or a bit more than just a bit, um, and so I didn't really film that much in there, but now I'm headed back to the car, and then I'm gonna drive home and show you everything that I got. I am back home now, and this is everything that I got. Please keep in mind that I'm like styling 10 people with all of this, so it might look like a lot, but basically this is going to be gone in like a week with all of the bundles. Because I couldn't show you these in the store because they were right at the checkout, I wanted to take a second and show you the incredible jewelry that I got. This really cool little bracelet, a wooden bracelet. These are always great for like a ton of different bundles. If it's like a hippie inspired bundle or even a Stevie Nicks bundle or something like that. And then I got these two really cool bracelets which actually open up. Let me show you. Can I do this one handed? Yes. So they open like this, they're so gorgeous. And this one is kind of very similar. I love that they are also painted in the inside. I broke a nail today. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I got for the bundles. As said, I also got some things for myself, which I'm gonna show you right now. I thought I could show you this and it would look really cool and I would just have to like tailor a part of it, but this does not fit me. This is from that store that was kind of really run down with that really weird dressing room. So I didn't really try this on. There also wasn't a mirror in there. So this one sadly is way too big on me. It's a really cool set, but I will just give this away in a bundle. Let me show you the dress without the jacket. So these two pieces obviously have to go in one bundle, but it's so cool also. The print on this dress is so psychedelic and beautiful. It's an incredible piece and I really hope the person who will get this will love it as much as I do. I also really like this with my hair color but wasn't destined I guess. So I already had the turtleneck but I got this incredible little 60s skirt. It's a real tweed skirt so it's super warm and nice. It also has sewn in shorts which is so cool. It was also only three bucks so I'm really glad that I got this one. I also got this skirt, which like from the way that it is sewn, I'm really sure is from the 60s. I'll have to do some research on it as well, but like from the way it's sewn, I'm pretty sure it is. It's actually giving me all the space age vibes and it's it's just an incredible piece, honestly. It was also in the one euro bin, so this was a great steal. And last but not least, you've all seen it, but this coat, which is just oh, such a glorious piece, honestly. I am so happy that I got it. I would have not been happy leaving this one behind. It's an incredible find. As said, 45 bucks, which is a lot for me to spend on myself, but I guess I kind of deserved it. Maybe this is like my gift to myself to celebrate the bundles and the release and that it's going so well, which I want to thank you guys because it's all just because of you. The girl who worked in the thrift store where he got this jacket gifted me these little earrings. They didn't have a price and so I was asking her how much they were and she was like, if you buy that coat, I'll just give them to you. So these are really, really cute. I got a few more things for myself. First of all being these 
really cool red knee socks which someone has definitely fixed before but i don't really mind i think they're really cool i don't have red knee high socks especially not thick ones like this so this is great for the winter and then i got really lucky in the one euro record bin first of all i got steppenwolf born to be wild and magic carpet ride two classics love it and i'm so glad that i got these can't wait to listen to this one the classic by the mamas and the papas monday morning and got a feeling really really happy about this one as well i've been looking for this record for ages and i'm really glad that i found it and just for a euro that's a great deal this one might be the one i'm the most excited about it's george harrison's my sweet lord and isn't it a pity it's the apple original little record this is such an incredible find for me and i cannot wait to listen to this one a true classic living next door to Alice had to get it I don't really have a lot to say about this as you can see it's a 1976 original and then one of my absolutely favorite songs by the incredible Suzy Quattro 48 crash this one also has little bitch blue on it which is another one of my favorite songs so I'm really glad that I got this one I have to end this video in this jacket because I'm not planning on taking it off anytime soon even though it's almost 30 degrees today so yeah that's it for the video I really hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching if you enjoyed it I'd love you to give it a a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend it supports me it supports the channel and it would mean a lot if you want to get your own bundle make sure to check the link in my description box to get your own and i would love to style you please comment down below which find was your favorite i try to reply to all the comments and i love to read them if you're interested in all things 60s and 70s make sure to subscribe to my channel because i upload multiple videos every single week all about that and i would love to have you around i hope you have an amazing day go out enjoy the sunshine take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!